Emote. Why can I not see my own chat? Oh, there we go. Oh, wait. It wants me to sign into my... What? Oh my god. Um... Don't... 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 Hello! Hello! How are you? Yo, what's good? Not much. What's up? What's good with you? Huh? Punk? Haha, <laughs> of course. I kind of wanted to do Pokemon, but I'm also... I'm so sleepy. So I'm just gonna do movie. I don't know if there'll be two movies. There's probably only one movie tonight. I don't know. New name. That's right, new name! New name! I'm no longer Pipkin Pippa. I'm just Pippa. On Twitch, anyways. Pippa. Yeah, I, I messed with the with the capitalization to piss people off, but I'll 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 switch it. I'll I'll, I'll fix it. <laughs> I'll fix it. I forget where I do that at. Don't no. hold on. Um. Also, thank you for the five pippies. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. Pippa. Yeah, Pippa. There we go. Hold on. Okay, there we go. Now the... Now it should be corrected. Let's hit the go live button again! And... Let's move over to... Um... Twitter. The art is formerly known as Pippang. Screenshot that. Wait, what's up there? Thank you for the gift of Pippies! Thank you, thank you, thank you! Thank you for the fun gift of Pippies! Um... Let's... Post a screenshot. If my brain will work. My brain's not working. My brain's not working! Here we go. Found it. Dun 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 dun. Movie... Time... On... Twitch.tv slash Pippa! Pippa love! <laughs> Let me some movie time. It should be interesting. Hey, Pa. Hi. Don't screenshot me. No! I won't. I already took the screenshot. How long is this? This one's one hour and 62... No. One hour and 16 minutes. Thank you. Thank you for the... Thank you for the fucking pippies. Thank you. Thank you. I guess I should crop this and move it to the side. So I'm not covering it as much. Bum 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 Imagine it was one hour sixty nine minutes. Ha 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 You know, I haven't fully realized what time Pokemon Masters resets. Even though I play this game like nonstop. Let's see. Let's see if I boot it up. Will I have my daily login message? Oh it's two AM. Red Ryan, then come back to me. Do you hear it? Do you hear- do you hear the game? I think I already logged in today. I don't know. I know I've missed like two days. Blah 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 I feel like- I think I- I think I have to talk for it to actually pick up. Otherwise it just like registers it as like um... Like... Background noise or something. Bum 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 bum. Yep, I already logged in. Pokemon Masters the Extreme Win, Pips? My account is pitiful though. And there's not very much gameplay. Have you pulled for the new Bismarck in Azure Lane yet? I have, and I did not get her. <laughs> He's so cool. He's so cool. Hold on, let me turn down the... ...the gate. There we go. <laughs> Nihongo Chorus! He's growing on me. He's growing on me. I was very attached to the English voice of Colrus, but... This other voice actor... ...gives the character a lot more... ...a lot more personality. A lot, a lot more. He's kinda of growing on me. He doesn't sound bad in Japanese. JP's better? Hi, maybe. Hello. Sneaky stream superior stream. Cool. Does sound better? Isn't he Shadow's VA? Yeah. Visa 
Hello, hello, like with other biddies, Papa. Well, thanks for the stream. Thank you, thank you. Thank you, thank you. I'm buying the bunker just to spite you. Go for it, dude. If you enjoy it, you enjoy it. Colgate was Pippa's worst controversy? I don't know, man. I've had a lot of controversies. You love the relaxed vibe of these? I'm telling Chris. Do it! I already... I told him to his face. My my preferred Colbert's voice actor was, was Wai Chang. The purple meaty thing. I'm big to me. Love the watch along stairs. I gotta confess something. Sippy peasy tech. They can come big peepee. It was kind of... It was kind of genuinely upsetting. Finding out that one of the voice actors for Colrus, Chris Niosi, preferred like a shit ton of other characters. And, and, and Berg and shit. It's like, man. This is why you're not the superior Colrus voice actor. Pippa. What? I guess, I guess it's, it's to be expected, you know, like... What are, what are the odds? What are we watching? Woman on the Run, from 1950. Now this is autism. Well... Pippa gets meaner every day. Your tone made me think he died. <laughs> this is the Bunker's Dream. Give me a tilde Did you not like it? I did not like it. Pippa, my bank account got hacked. Let's go! Oh god, that's terrible. I'm so sorry, Clipter. I'm so sorry. Hmm. You have really brain damage standards for creators. Yeah, I'm trying to. I'm trying to get better. I'm trying. To, I'm trying to get better. Um. About appreciating content creators as people. You know. Slightly related to that, I fell asleep watching. Watching a stream. And I don't know if it's the power of earbuds. But I, I fell asleep with my, with my earbuds in. Watching a stream. And... My dream was that like, like, while I was dreaming, while I was asleep... That... That I was like, collabing with the streamer. And I kept talking. And... Like, they, like nine times out of ten, they would just like, ignore me. And I was like, man, I must have, like, really upset them or something. And it, it was like, the streamer was playing Project Zomblade, right? So, but, like, my brain, I guess, didn't register that it was Project Zomblade. So it turned into, like, a different game with, like, zombies and stuff. But there was still, like, 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 zombie stuff happening. And... And then I was getting like messages in the game from like other people, like like viewers, and they were like, "Oh, well, if uh, uh it, they're not ignoring you, it's just that um you're not like pressing the the sound button or whatever, or you're not in the party, so the sound radius is not um it's doing it's doing like distance based sound is I just <sighs> and then in the dream another streamer." popped in, but they were not, like, streaming. And they, like, dumped a bunch of stuff on me. Like, they gave me a bunch of items. And I was like, oh! Thank you! And, and then a zombie came up, and I started, like, attacking the zombie, and I accidentally killed the other streamer. And I started schizoing out. I was like, oh my god! Their, their audience is gonna fucking destroy me. They're gonna go off on me because I just, I just killed them after they gave me a bunch of free stuff. She killed Vespers. I was watching a Vesper. Well, I was asleep and Vespers stream was playing. I don't remember if I fell asleep watching it. What's your thing? I'm big beepy. Because I think if I fell asleep watching the Project Zomboid one, it would have. Like, my brain would have corrected it to be like Project Zomboid. But. I, I, I think I fell asleep watching one of his just chatting streams, and then it auto-played into that. Mr. Yard, I'm big pee Definitely had fell asleep watching his stream dreams before, too, and every time they've been really crazy bizarre. The, I fell asleep... This was, like, years ago now. Gura? I fell asleep watching Gura? Uh, doing Duolingo. Or was it... Was it Amelia? I don't know. It was one of them. They were... They were... They were learning Japanese through Duolingo. 
And they ended up like both in my dreams. And they were like, they were like... Speaking Japanese and stuff. And on the give the gifts of the turbo. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Damn, that was a long time ago. Yeah, but like, it's hard to forget dreams like that. It was just so... This is just so... It's just so weird. They were like disembodied heads and they were like floating inside of like this palace and they were speaking Japanese. You might be in too deep, maybe. Did you learn? No. Movie night. It's movie night time. Okay, we're 10 minutes in. I'm gonna start the movie. <laughs> Duolingo characters in your dream. It wasn't Duolingo characters. It was, um... It was... It was... It was... Gura and Ame. Playing Duolingo that turned into. Yeah. Why are the 45 minutes of ads? What? Do you have any comments about Twitch TOS and how all creators are freaking out? Uh, Twitch already backpedaled, so there's not much to say. I think it's kind of obvious that Twitch is, as a platform, has no fucking idea what they're doing. And I hope we see them backpedal more. I hope Twitch learns to backpedal more. Mr. Beast effect? Maybe it was Mr. Beast. Maybe it was Mr. Beast chiming in on the situation. Basically, for those of you who don't know... Uh, Twitch implemented a bunch of really stupid rules about how big, like, video ads can be. Or there's no video ads allowed. And then sponsored images can only be, like, 30% of the screen size. And it's... Her name is Ame? It's not Aim? No, Ame. Amelia Watson. A 3%! Sorry, 3%, not 30%. But it was... It, it was... it was so bad. It was so bad. It was like, if you watch Asmongold's stream, you know how he has like the little... the little sponsored ads and stuff. It's like that size. Twitch is a sinking ship, best to plan ahead. Well, I'm already mostly on YouTube anyway, so... Your stream is reminding me of that headless lady in Return to Oz. Asmund's vid on that was great. I haven't watched Asmund's vid on it. I'll give it to you without the hoopla, Danny boy. The simple facts of life. I'm sitting in a crossfire with the cops on one side, Miley Freeman on the other, and they're both of them gunning for me. So I'm the guy who knows that you're the one who took the 20 grand from Smiley to cover up the dirt and kill him. Got a cigarette, Danny boy? I think the subtitles are actually accurate. My accurate. quick and easy, Danny. We split the 20. Five for you, fifteen for me, and I take it on the lamb. Live and let live is my motto. Aw? Aw, oh, that look in your eye, Danny's painful to me pride. Ah! Oh, Danny boy, don't kill me. Danny boy, don't! It's too late! Oh my god! Was that? Was that? Was that? Dick Tracy! God damn! Danny boy! God damn! Oh, Danny boy, why? And the doggo too. No, the dog's alive. The dog's alive. Right? That's the same dog. Hey, what happened? What's going on down there? Were those shots? You better call the police. There's been a murder. Oh. It was two weeks from retirement. Is some of the screen cut off? No? It's just black. See? Evening, Inspector. Hi, boys. Always happens in the middle of the night. Yeah. I'll leave the old board nice even though. Yeah. He won't be doing much testifying now. Convenient for Smiley Freeman. Yeah. Fiddler over there with the dog says he saw it. Yeah? Is the over here yet? Watch this, Inspector. What's this guy's name? Frank Johnson. Lives around here. Claimed he was out walking his dog. Hi, Mr. Johnson. Inspector Paris. Homicide detail. Understand you had a front seat. I sure did. Get a good look at the killer? Too good. That street light was right on his face when he got out of his car and shot at you. Shot at you? Twice. You're lucky he missed. Think you'd recognize him? You saw him again? It's not a face I'm likely to forget. Oh. Pick him out of a lineup? I think so. Yeah. Hey, what's this all about, anyway? Uh, a that murder? Man, Joe Gordon, who's going to testify before the grand jury next week. That's tough. Not too. He had a bad record. 
You knew oh. too much about Smiley Freeman. You know who Smiley Freeman is? The gangster? That's right. Oh. Gordon was our witness. Now you're it. Oh. Me? Yeah. All you have to do is identify the killer. We'll do the rest. Married? In a way. To his dog. What do you mean, in a way? Are you or aren't you? Yeah, I am. Where do you live? Right over there, 136 out to Linda, apartment 4D. Pick up Mrs. Johnson, bring her over here. Okay. Hey, don't wake her up. She's not gonna like it. Well, she wanna know where you are, yeah. won't she? We're Why are the cops so sus? Headquarters, what for? Protective custody. You see what you mean. Now, where were you standing when he shot at you? Oh, right down what? there. Show me. Well, I was right down there with the dog when the car drove up. I didn't pay much attention to it. A little bit later, I heard a shot. I looked up just in time to see this fellow, what's his name, fall out of the car. Then the killer pumped another shot right into him. My dog barked. He got out of the car, started to shoot at me. I ducked, and he drove away. What kind of a car? I don't know, a light coupe. They all look alike to me. Well, his aim me was describing all right. cars? He was just shooting at the wrong target. He thought your shadow was you. Whoa! Will you go call Reardon? Whoa. Maybe you won't miss next time. There won't be any next time. Yeah, but suppose you don't get a conviction, then what? Does that mean he didn't see his face? Life with police protection? Or wind up on a sidewalk like him? What are you worried about? He missed, didn't he? Stay here a minute. We'll get the rest of the story downtown. I hate to get mixed up in this. Yeah, it's getting so a man has to be careful where he's looking these days. Take it easy. Keep out of here, will you? Say, I think I dropped my pipe somewhere around here. Is it okay if I look for it? Remember where you had it last? Yeah, it was right over here somewhere. What's the matter, Bunsen? Why are they such assholes? Get out of here, will you? The cop this kind of glows, this kind of glows. The cops are such pricks. Take up Smiley Freeman and everybody connected with him. Put him in a lineup, see if Johnson can identify anybody. I want everybody. No excuses, no lawyers. Oh, does I want he everybody. does he know that their cops see if are can sus? Pick up anything on that car. Somebody may have seen it. The cops are in real life? I feel like the cops are working with the killers, yeah. Mrs. Johnson, that's not your husband. The man was killed. He saw it happen. He, he's right over here. Sorry I had to get you out of bed, Mrs. Johnson. But after all, we had to make sure that he had a wife. Where is he? No! He took a powder. Sergeant, pick up Johnson. The idiot will get him down there and cover the park. Just like him, oh. always running away. What do you mean, huh? always running away? Running away from what? From everything. Broadcast description. White male American. Was a trench coat, What's soft What's brown hat, I don't know. a very ordinary looking fellow, I'm afraid. Yeah. Well, how would you describe your husband, Mrs. Johnson? I couldn't. I haven't been able to for a long time. May I go now? Come on, you must. What? Nice dish, huh? Nice looking dish. What the hell is I going on? Everything shut off. Ridge controls, road blocks, everything. I'll stick with her. Right. The... What? Did you hear the shots fired? How could I? I was in bed, sound asleep. Find any pictures of him? No, but plenty of her. Just some tired snaps of him. They won't do anybody any good. But keep them. <sighs> yeah, this is always public domain. Books on psychology. I wonder why. Has he got a problem? I wouldn't know. Oh. Maybe he's confused. God damn. Oh. Pipe smoker. Mmm. What does that mean? Nothing. She is not having oh, his nonsense. He's got two suits, one of which he's wearing. Oh, what does he care what he looks like? Nobody pays any attention to him anyway. Not even his wife. You're really wasting your time. Oh, there damn. must be at least 20,000 men in San Francisco who answer that description. How are you going to find him? It has to be something different about him. Different anyway from other people. There is something different about him. There's something different about everybody. And we're going to dig till we find out what it is. Now you see our problem, Mrs. Johnson. Why won't you help us? I'm helping. What do you want me to do? I want you to answer a few questions. <laughs> go ahead, ask. Where does he generally go when he's not at home? I haven't the faintest idea. Has he any relatives in this area? No. Who are his friends? I don't know his friends. The dog is our only mutual the... friend. You always go to sleep when he walks the dog? No, sometimes he goes to sleep and I walk the dog. What the hell is their relationship? Well, Inspector, there are a couple of more. That has been my wife. She oh, would not I'm help at all. Sorry, there's been a mistake. Release these men at once. 
keep digging. Okay. Every man between the ages of 35 and 40 who is out tonight is wearing a trench coat and a snap brim felt. All of them five foot eleven, weighing 170, and all of them scared to answer questions. The domestic situation in this town must be terrible. Yeah. Kitchen. Well, it's got a stove in it. I left my Cheetos open and they're stale. This is like Rain Man scenario. Space pausing. Bing. Bing, bing, bing. Oh, these are consequences of my own action. Don't you eat anything but dog food? He's not particular, and I'm lazy, so we eat out. Where? They were already well, pretty stale, but now they're like... Drug store. They really lost bad. the grill at the wharf when we're in that neighborhood. And when we get real fancy, Manlow's Oriental Roof Garden. Those, usually. We're creatures of habit, I'm afraid. Check the Oriental Roof Garden. They'll still be open. Yes, sir. Two o'clock in the morning. How am I going to explain this at home? What's going a on? Pint of ice I'm sorry. There's been a mistake. He's sorry. What am I going to tell my know? wife? Come on. I feel so bad for everybody else who lives in the apartment. About tonight, Mrs. Johnson. We don't have to have a reason anymore. Don't you have a decent picture of your husband? No, he doesn't like to have his picture taken. I don't want any photographs of him floating around that might get in the papers. The killer doesn't know what he looks like. Didn't he see him? No, he shot at his shadow. Shot? He shot at Frank? Twice. Nobody knows that except the killer, your husband, and now you. So let's keep it that way. It's important. Hello, yum yum. He's really in danger then. Worry? Oh. I thought you were beyond worrying about him. I didn't say that. If he doesn't give himself up, you're really going to have something to worry about. We've got to protect him. What the hell? Like you did the other witness? Joe Gordon would be alive right now if he hadn't had his lawyer spring him. Hey, Mark. Here's a prescription for Frank Johnson. Husband ill? No, he just likes to take medicine. Well, what are these for? I don't know. He just likes to take vitamin pills, cold shots, anything. This girl follows the Pipkin Pippa School of Cooperating What's with the here? authorities. Studio, my husband's an artist. Oh, I thought you said he worked at Hart and Winston. He does. He's in charge of this place down there. Oh, window trimmer, huh? Rembrandt, get down. You know you're not allowed up there. Yeah, he just likes. Rembrandt. To, he just likes to take. It's the nearest we could ever get to owning one. Frank's little joke. He found the mud sitting on the street corner one night, waiting for someone to adopt him. They Aww. recognized each other right away. Oh. Is this supposed to be you? Yes. It was a lovely autumn day. The wind was blowing through my hair. It was all very charming, but that was four years ago. That was Frank's Cypress period. He had four important periods in his painting career. Mm. Say, how did you two ever get together in the first place? I met him at a friend's house in Carmel. He wanted to paint, and I was all for it. I had $5,000, and he had 2000 in talent, so we got married. After Carmel, he became restless, so we went to Taos, New Mexico, where he painted Indians. <laughs> That's an Indian. Yeah. Then he got tired of Indians, <laughs> so we went to Bucks County, Pennsylvania, where he painted old Dutch barns with hex signs on them. Say, did he ever do a self-portrait? He didn't like himself that much. Oh. That's an Indian, yeah. <laughs> do these in Pennsylvania? <laughs> No, he got restless again, so we came to San Francisco. Here he started sketching crummy old characters that hung around wharves, missions, and gin mills. That was his social protest period. Then our money ran out, and he had to take a job. Couldn't sell the stuff, huh? He wouldn't try to sell it. Didn't think it was good enough. These mm. sketchbooks are filled with great ideas. He never got around to painting. Well, didn't you try to get a job? Why should I? That's his responsibility, not mine. Damn! Friend to your husband? No, that's his burlesque period. Now that I like, it's pretty good. Yes, oh but it takes more talent to have a career. You have to have staying power. Frank's a drifter, so when the money ran out, we just drifted. Who's this? Drifted oh, to San Francisco? Came over in Chinatown. Hmm. Know him? Oh, Memphis. he's a retired ferry boat captain who does sand sculptures at the beach. Oh, I know who that is. That's Rembrandt. They got a bunch what of art for this. What have got Frank? You just answer the questions. That is, if it doesn't hurt. Why should it hurt me? Oh, you it's know. all past and done with. If you want to snoop into the remains of our marriage, that's up to you. I'm surfing for more Don't candy. Don't touch that telephone. If that's what? your husband, find out where he is. But keep on talking. How do they know it's the, the husband? I'm finally back from the milk store. Welcome back from the milk store. 64, so. Your candy drawer running out? No. There's just a lot of stuff in there. I gotta dig for the good stuff. Hello? Oh, hello, Frank. Where's that go? Ellen, there's something I want you to get. 
I'm sorry to interrupt, but if I were you, I'd hang up. The police are tracing your call. Oh! God damn! Hello. Hello. Hey, hang up. She's so base! Me, I heard music. Wasn't that music? You didn't do your husband a favor, Mrs. Johnson. It's bad enough to be alone in a big city with no place to go. But as soon as the newspapers hit the streets and the killer finds out he didn't get your husband, there'll be guys looking for him with guns. If I had a husband I wanted to get rid of, I'd do exactly what you did. If he wants to run away, that's his business. And your business, too, Mrs. Johnson. I'll be seeing you. They're, they're awfully aggressive about this. Wait, does she care? I'm so confused. I don't think no she trusts the, the police. Full of bachelors. A little more needling is all she needs. Give her plenty of rope, but keep her tailed. She wants to get rid of him. Women are curious. Even that dame will go after him. Oh, uh, come on. Be a good fellow and let us up. Who's handling the case? Inspector Burke. Oh, he's a friend of mine. Is that right, Inspector? Sure, we know him well. Hi, you Paris, you bitch? No story. How about that Johnson girl? Is she still looking? What about the witness? What witness? Oh, cut it out. Cut it out. It's already gone to press. Did you get a look at the murderer? No. What's his wife like? Any filth? Lay off the tabloid mm -hmm. sex stuff, like it. I'll give it to all of you in the morning. Hi, Homer. The title no is kind of spoilery. I mean, maybe, but we don't know, like, what's gonna happen. It's a woman in the 50s giving guff to a man. She's lucky she didn't get backhanded. I'm gonna run. Yeah, but from the police or from the 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 gangsters or is she running from her husband and is it gonna focus on her running or is it gonna focus on the husband maybe trying to trying to find her again that's a cute dog could be any of that. Yeah, well, it's not really spoily. I drank sleepy juice and now I'm sleepy. Then you should go to sleep, Pancakey. You hear the candy packaging? The police are the gangsters. Police are gangsters. Cool. Oh. You're coming out or going in? Are you the police? Smile when you say that. I'm a reporter. Oh, newspaper man. Well, you don't have to say it like that. Adjourn out. Don't go with me. Go away. <laughs> Oh my god. Are you just going to leave me dangling here? Well, you didn't I give him attitude. Said, help me get out of here. It's a pleasure, Mrs. J. You are Mrs. Johnson, aren't you? No, I'm the maid taking my night out. Oh, what magic I possessed. A moment ago, total strangers. Now you're in my arms. So it's mm. love at first sight. Now show me how you got up here without the police seeing you. Do I get the story? After I get out of here. Follow me. Mastery on the number two thing. The journal's kind of silly, though. I like him so far. What a Chad, yeah. Starlight City, thank you so much for the raid! Oh, there's Looks my like name. Looks like half the police down there. We're watching... We're watching... Woman on the Run. A movie from 1950. We're not that far not into that. it. Just look straight ahead like you did when you got married. <laughs> Incidentally, my name's Leggett. Leggett of the Graphic. We've got a dandy little sheet all full of goo and gore and everything. <laughs> hey! <laughs> Bye. <laughs> She, she's kind of based. She's kind of... Holy shit. Holy shit. Is it guys in the way? I don't know. Um, so for context for what happened is that woman's husband saw a gangster murder somebody. And now he's hiding... The husband is hiding from the police. And the police want to bring him in for questioning. Madam, well, thank you, Mrs. Johnson. I'd love to join you. You didn't think you were going to get rid of me as easy as you ducked the police, did you? Well, let me know, Mrs. J. I'm an old fire escape man from way back. Why don't you get lost? Damn. Is that yellow face? I have no idea. How about the story? You'll get the story from my husband when he's safe and sound in jail. Oh, but he won't be safe and sound. Have you forgotten to follow up an image, Joe Gordon? Do you wish something? Yeah, let me have a bourbon old fashioned. Yes. Why did you come here tonight, Mrs. Johnson? Mrs. Darkson? Because I no. like it here. 
You didn't by any chance come here to meet, say, your husband, did you? Or is Time that step? a far-fetched supposition? 1930. Supposition. I better stop using those four-syllable words. I won't be working for the graphic anymore. Where's your husband, Mrs. Johnson? I don't know. Did he see the killer? I don't know. Should we dance? Why don't you drop dead? <laughs> Why don't you be nice to me, Mrs. The Johnson? Fuck? Who knows? I might even be able to help you. I'm not a bad guy when you get to know me. A little obnoxious, perhaps, but pleasant. Now then, answer yes or no. Your husband saw the letter and took it on the lamp, right? Right. And you're, uh, you're meeting him here? I haven't the slightest idea. I came here on a hunch. When he phoned tonight, I heard music that could only have come from this joint. Something to eat? No, thanks. No food. Oh, go ahead. Try something. No, really, nothing. Oh, um... Uh, I've got Awkward. a deal for you. You find your husband with my help. Give me an exclusive for 24 hours, and I'll get my paper to pay you for it. Trying to buy me so soon? First, okay, then come back to me. And if I can, I'm going to try to win. Isn't that the reverse of the usual procedure? I'm a perverse fellow. On second thought, Mr. What? Jay, I find you very attractive. What? I may try and win you right off. No, thanks. I'd rather be bought. Very mercenary. All of the good, though. I like mercenary women. Good night, um, Tina. Bang, Ola. You don't get to say you're a pervert and then that you want to buy a woman. Money? Sure. How much? Oh, I don't know. Graham, maybe. Is it worth that much? Will be by the time I get through building it up. Frank will need it if he wants to get away. I'll bring it with me. Just tell me where and when. And you won't print anything until I give the word. Scout's on it. It's a deal. Should we drink to it? To the, uh... As a journalist, they have no honor. All our troubles. Yours, your husband's, and mine. You got troubles? You don't look it. None that I can't solve. She's a fool! Hiya, Mrs. Johnson. What can you mention them? Meet Mr. Leggett at the graphic. I haven't, I haven't picked oh, a one yet. Oh, a newspaper man, Sammy. You should have caught the show. Susie and I are breaking in a new act. Chunga no Quito. It's terrific. That spells C-H-U-N-G. Anybody can spell a Quito. Of course, we're only breaking in the show here, but a little plug it helps. Well, I'll, uh, I'll see what I can do. She's Thanks. not going to do anything. Next time you come catch the midnight show, the place is really jumping then. I'll be seeing you. Bye, Sammy. Night. Well, I think I'll go home. Frank won't show tonight. How do you know? I just know, that's all. What are you going to tell your husband when you see him? To give huh? himself up. Maybe I'll give up, too. Huh? Was that a clue that she left him? That she left for her husband? Yeah, definitely a coded message. Yeah. Leave your flag down. Uh, you want to go in over the roof? No, I'll go in the front door and give them something to think about. No, in that case, I'll disappear. A coded Let's message from her husband. Think about. Well, if I need you, I'll get in touch with you. Oh, well, you won't have to get in touch with me. I wasn't sure if she placed Look it around, down. I'll be there. Good night, Mr. Leggett. That way, so the husband could come back? But then why would he come back? What are you doing here? That was nice going, Mr. Johnson, but the next time you try to get out, you'll have more trouble. I've got news for you. I've just seen your husband's doctor. Why? Aren't you feeling well? Your husband isn't a hypochondriac. He's a very sick man. He's got a bad heart. Mm. I don't believe it. That's Dr. Holler. Mm. Frank never said anything to me about it. Maybe he figured you wouldn't be interested. Well, he can walk into any drugstore and buy some medicine. Not without a prescription, he can't. And mm. I've given orders to every drugstore in town that none of this medicine be dispensed without an order from me. If he should have an attack and not have that with him, you know what that means. You can't do that. If it's the only way I can get him to come in and testify, I mean to use it. But Frank's oh, done nothing shit. wrong. Oh, yes, he has. He was in the wrong place at the wrong time. I thought the police were supposed to protect people, not put them in danger. All it says in my book, sister, is that the good of the majority's got to be upheld. And for the good of the majority, Frank Johnson's got to testify. If he gives himself up, we'll give him a supply of medicine, we'll protect him. And if he doesn't? He'll die of a heart attack or a bullet from one of Smiley Freeman's men. I don't believe a word you're saying. You're only trying to frighten me. And I'm, I'm so getting fucked pretty sick up. of you, now get out of here. Of course, if you want to try to find it, I won't try to stop you. But I don't think you can find it. So fucked up. Lawful evil. I think evil. he's running away from us. Yeah. I think he's running away from you. I said get out. Yeah, the cops are fucking assholes. The great-great-grandparents weren't born before this film. 
the way that would be legal even in the 50s? I mean, it's a movie. Man. The dialogue is so well written. It's really fun. It's just it's just genuinely fun to listen to. Oh, look at old San Francisco. I am violating my instructions from the police by giving you this additional supply. But rest assured, it gives me no feeling of guilt. Thank you, Doctor. After the excitement of last night, your husband undoubtedly used the MP which he carried with him. So you see, my action is not prompted by kindness so much as reluctance to gamble with a man's life. Is his heart mm. really that bad, Doctor? Frank's condition isn't any worse than tons of men that strain their hearts running in track meets. The misguided belief that they were building up their bodies. If it were only his heart, we could control. What do you mean? Well, for the past year, your husband has had hypertension. That complicates matters. Hypertension? What causes that? I'm not mm -hmm. sure. My guess is overwork, unhappiness, <laughs> yeah. anxiety. But you know more about it than I do. Why should I? Oh. Naturally, you must know about his troubles. I'm only his doctor. You are his wife. Oh, yes. I'm that bitter, selfish, vicious wife. The cause of his unhappiness. The cause of his failure. Is that what he told you? Is that what he tells everyone? Frank didn't discuss his private life with me, nor do I care to hear it from you. I shall explain to you his condition. Some pills are fucking up. He has a cardiac condition. Let's call it X. Now, X alone is not serious. He also has hypertension. Let's call it Y. Now, X plus Y is dangerous. I'm Y, I suppose. I'm not a psychiatrist, Mrs. Johnson. I deal only with facts. X plus Y equals steady deterioration. X minus Y is an improvement. And what you and your husband do about it is your personal yeah. concern. My only personal concern right now is to get these ampules to him. If you see him, Mamba. tell him he should give himself up. It's imperative to take the strain of himself. I'll give him the facts. He can draw his own conclusion. You okay? Yeah, I saw- I dropped- I dropped m m a Mamba. Wife cause hypertension. Yeah, I guess our I guess our relationship is strained. And I want candy. Go get candy. Every time I see that comfy lean, I want to cover Pippa with a blanket. I already have a blanket, clearly. Wow, he's subtle. You have some high too. Oh, those are good. She's still being a solid based wife though, yeah. Oh, Frank, darling, I thought I'd never find you. Now stay right here, I'll be back inside to explain everything. <laughs> All right, Mr. Johnson. Come ah! on. My name is Johnson. Yeah, and I suppose that isn't your wife either. No, but I wish it were. Do you have any identification? Yes, I have. My name is Stephen Carruthers, optometrist. While we're on the subject, I think you better have your eyes examined. Damn! Why is everybody a savage in this? Holy shit! And goddamn, she's smart. So Frank is a fugitive. The fifties were different. Well, that's just like him. He is so adventurous. Adventurous, Frank? Oh yes, indeed. Uh, sit down, Mrs. Johnson. I guess you've never visited our workshop before. What what makes makes think he's thing I'm the big. Oh, but he is. All the places he's gone and all the things he's done. You know, my life has been pretty uneventful. Straight from high school to this job. From my rooming house to the streetcar and then down here to work. In the evening, back to my rooming house again. But since he's been here... It's nah, different. Kenny doesn't go bad. He, he makes my life kind of exciting. I never get tired listening to the stories he tells about his trip down to Mexico. When he was wandering around with all those bullfighters... And when he shipped off to Tahiti mm. in that old freighter, and then jumped ship? Oh, I'm sorry. I suppose you've heard these stories many times, Mrs. Johnson. No, she I hasn't. I never heard them. He never told me. Oh! He didn't? Well, maybe he didn't want his wife to know. Oh, I'm sorry if I talked out of turn. Of course you haven't. Shouldn't the mail be here? Why, yes, yes, it should. Why? Frank sent me a letter in care of you. Oh, he did? I don't know what Mr. Anderson is going to say. When he finds out Frank isn't coming in today, you know, he's got a terrible disposition. He doesn't exercise enough. Of course, I don't either, but then... Mm. Well, I'm going to protect Frank. 
He saved my job once. You know, Mr. Anderson was going to fire me. But Frank said, if Mr. Mabus goes, you can pay me off, too. Oh, they had a terrible argument. They even took it upstairs to Mr. Winston. Well, we're still here. Frank was too valuable. Aww. Look, Mr. Mabus, don't tell anyone about that letter that's coming. Oh, no, no, no. You can trust me. Not even the police. The police? Are they coming here? They're very apt to. But just don't mention the letter or anything about my being here at all, huh? Well, I don't know how good I am at deceiving people, but uh, if it's for Frank, I'll try. Hey, Mavis, you better get the lead out and get upstairs. Anderson's blowing his top. Okay, I'll be right up. Is the mail in yet? How should I know? Well. Yeah. Nice people. <laughs> Sometimes I think it'd be better for Frank if he got himself fired. Well, he doesn't belong around here. Look at all the time he puts in these mannequins. Aww. See, I just noticed something. This looks like you. Aww. Very flattering. Is that the way he sees me? Well, it may be a little severe, but it shows he was thinking about you anyway. Yes, and what he was thinking. Mayo! What do you mean? Well, got two today, What's wrong Mr. with Davis? it? Wasn't Frank here? No, no, he's late. Was there a letter for him? No, I just had a new song I wanted him to hear. Frank's the only one who listens to me sing. Oh, brother, have I got a crush on that man. Mm -hmm. Saying that in front of his wife? No letter. Oh, but there's got to be one. Well, maybe it'll be here on the afternoon mail at 3 o'clock. She's so if messed up. Hold it from us, and let's just keep it our secret, shall we? Now we're so messed up. Good morning, Still Mr. Johnson. Me. He didn't show up for work this morning, did he? Where's your new pal, Leggett? I haven't the vaguest idea. I wouldn't get too cozy with that guy if I were you. He'd crucify his grandmother for a story. I haven't found him as objectionable as you are. What right Damn. are you prying into my personal life, having me followed as if I were a criminal? I'm sick of it. I'm sick of you, and I want it to stop. Mrs. Johnson, didn't your husband ever beat you? Are you going to have these mess up following me? The man who killed Joe Gordon isn't stupid. If I'm smart enough to use you as a bird dog to lead us to your husband, so is he. You Holy may be very shit. happy to have a cop around before this thing's over. That well, I don't. John Markley, thank you for the raid. Hello, Raiders. My name's Emma. How could I lose a redhead like that? Wasn't the movie? Mmm. Mmm. Holy 1950s. She should have slapped him. She should have. She should have, but he's a police officer, so. Would have been hell to pay. A good stream. Oh, I'm sleepy. Oh, don't be so grumpy this morning. All I'm trying to do is help you. Do you know that you've got a little shadow? Huh? There she is. Well, it's a nice morning mm. for a ride. Oh, well, uh, by the way, here's your letter. Well, I'll be surprised. Don't be. Ten dollars and an underpaid store clerk will get you anything. Oh. Don't you worry about it. I'll put down my expense account. But how did you know about it? The menu. You shouldn't have left it. It was very careless of you. I have acquisitive eyes. Do you always open other people's mail? Oh. Mm -hmm. Every chance, I guess. Say, did you get a load of the female impersonator they've got following you? No. Female impersonator? Go to the and get down to business. Hey, Mac. Is that Mac? On the next street, then right up the alley. Okay. There's a man? A federal crime. Well, there's a lot of crime going on here. Taxi driver was drifting. What? Mean anything to you? Oh, a lot of things. Something to go on? I'm not sure. What does he mean in there about the doctor and the ampule? It's medicine he needs. He has a bad heart. How bad? Bad enough. I just found out. He's got to have these pills and he can't get them anywhere. The police have seen to that. Yeah, squeeze play. That Ferris is smart. Will mm. he die? I don't know. I spoke to his doctor. It isn't serious, only under certain conditions. Yeah. Uh, I'm at CIA. I can confirm Police the mail has been previewed. Read this note, so I can't tell you where I'll be. But if you think back, you'll know where to find me. What am I? A mind reader? Well, it gives you a clue in this next line. I'll be out in the open under the sun in a place like the one where I first lost you. There is no first in things like these. This is kind of obscure. Does he always talk to you like this? No, it's our first murder. <laughs> you know, Mrs. J, your husband's a pretty clever guy at that. No. You don't think so, but he is. He's testing you. 
He's asking you to admit that your marriage is a failure and that it's your fault. God He's damn. That he understands you, but that you don't understand him. Now listen, Mr. Leggett. Of the Sorry, Ringo. I've had just about enough of the old wise male. In the past ten hours, I've met three men. Three men who all put together haven't known Frank for one fraction of the length of time I have. Yet they all know him better than I do. Well, along the way, I found out a few things myself. I found out how Frank Johnson really feels about me. That at the first chance, his first excuse, he took off, ran. That he didn't even think enough of me to confide in me that he was ill. Then at the store, in the faces of those mannequins, I saw what he really sees in me. All right, it's okay if that's the way he feels about it, but if he wants his ampules, he'll have to come out of hiding and get them. What did you have for breakfast? Cigarette and coffee? Ah! Cigarette. I thought so. Take it over to Lancey's on Powell. Lancey's? Okay. This place has the best waffles in town. Jesus Butter in every little sweat. View's always better on a full tummy. How about another one? Oh, this my thanks. usual lunch? Oh my god, the subtitles are fighting for life, yeah. Jay, there's something that I have to tell you. You have to find your husband. No, not for the money, I promise. You are my story, but for yourself. He's challenged you. You've got to accept it or admit he's right. I really would like to find him. If only I could decipher the riddle in his letter. Together we can do it. That letter's like like drawing a graph. One line is to trace his movement. Subtitles are off. Line. The other leads back into the cute. past. But you have to remember. Where they cross? That's where your husband is. You need a manicure. So I do. Jesus. You know, this is the first time in my life I ever insisted on helping a woman find her husband. That I believe. What? By the way, what do people call you besides Leggett of the Graphic? Oh. Yeah, the subtitles did start off oh, good. People but... like me, call me Danny Boy. Okay, Danny Boy. Fisherman what? Boy. Frank used to come here a lot. What? I never once he did a watercolor of a boat. A fisherman admired it, so Frank what? gave it to him. Not to be outdone, the fisherman gave Frank a big swordfish. I made a remark about the joys of living by the barter system, and we had a bitter quarrel. But it certainly wasn't the first one. Do you think Frank was referring to a quarrel when he said where I first lost you? What else? Another one started up here on Telegraph Hill. The cop was right. Frank yeah. had a canvas of the harbor from here that I thought was wonderful. When I told him so, he insinuated that my taste in art ran to calendars. I said my taste was my own and I wanted the paint. So he gave it to me. But he signed it, Eleanor's husband. Without telling Ooh. him, I entered it in the contest they were having here at the art gallery. The oil by Eleanor's husband won first prize. $500. But do you think Frank was pleased when he found out? Oh, no. He refused the money and withdrew the painting. Said he wasn't ready yet. Sounds oh pretty God. stubborn. Stupidly stubborn. I wonder if he ever really wanted to be successful. Soon after that, he took the job at Hart and Winston's. You know, the only thing we know for sure is that Frank was at the Oriental Gardens last night. While we're in the neighborhood, let's drop in. Yeah, he sat around the dressing room until we came down to do the one o'clock show. Then he said he was going to make a phone call. Then Frank wrote the letter. He said to get in touch with you, that he was going to send the letter to a store, care of Mr. Mavis. Haven't I seen you someplace before? Shouldn't be surprised. I've been there. But didn't he say what he was going to do or where he might go? I didn't want to pump him. Say, why don't you try Sullivan? Who's Sullivan? He's a grand mick. Runs a bar across the street. Come on, I'll show you. You can go down the back stairs. It's a cool one to $6,000 today. Last night. I'm sure I was in with Mrs. Johnson. No, I mean the picture that Frank drew. Picture? What picture? Of me? Well, it looks something like you. You know how Frank's always drawing pictures. Did he say who this man was? No, no, he didn't. I wonder if I should have told the cops about it. Oh, well, they'll be back. The man that was in said so. Lucy, quit yakking. Uh, do you still have the picture? Maybe I could run it in the paper. Yeah, it's upstairs in my dressing room. I better keep it, though. Hey, Leggett, are you sure you want to help find Frank? Uh -oh. Leggett, don't forget that plug in the paper about us. We can sure use it. Uh, okay, uh, take it from the top. I've got to see our agent. Dun, dun, dun. So, but the, but the cops called him Leggett. Like, the cops acknowledged him as a reporter. I've about this place for years. Oh, okay, I guess the before. cops just have no idea what he looks like. What, what Danny Boy the gangster looks like. 
do you have, folks? You hungry? Specialty today, corned beef and cabbage. All right, food, young. No food. Dirty Get journal. for the lady in old-fashioned for me. I think I'll call a paper and see if anything's broken. You can get more out of him alone anyway. Say, so why don't you wear a hat? I look funny in hats. You know, you're right. What is it? The fuck? No, I didn't drop a nickel. <laughs> that was so rude. She drunk? I don't know. Dressed bar wench, I guess. Hello, Mako! Corned beef and cabbage? Fancy's recession meal? 1950s woman yes, will just Young. insult you for not I wearing a hat? Last night, just before closing time. Did he say where he was going? No, he didn't. Just buy ten bucks is all. Maybe I should tell you. There was a couple of fellas in here this morning asking about Frank. Fellas that you couldn't very well say, mind your own business to. Is he in some oh. sort of trouble, Mr. Johnson? Some. He didn't come home last night. They're all alike. I've been looking for mine for three years. Thank you for the info. I often wonder what business. kind of a woman Frank was married to. Not that I imagine he was too easy to live with, being so quiet and moody and strange at times. For instance, now look at this picture. I'm just casual shit talks. Frank painted this for me about six months ago. It was on St. Patrick's Day. But look at the date on it. March 17, 1947. Well, I suppose it's an artist's privilege. March 17th, that's Frank's birthday. 1947. We spent the day on the beach at Cypress Point. Then we suddenly decided we had to see the sunset from the top of the mark. So we drove to San Francisco. We had a car then. We had champagne cocktails and watched the sunset over the Golden Gate. After all, it was Frank's birthday and St. Patrick's. We had a beautiful dinner at Andre's and Café Diablo at Amigos. Then we drove back to Carmel. How the fuck do you remember all this? Ah, uh, there's nothing like being young and in love. What? And daft. To boot. What? Daft. To boot. Well, I guess people are entitled to do crazy things on their birthday. This year we didn't. I went to a movie. Frank came down here and painted that picture. Now I know what Frank meant when he said someone should have been in that picture with him. Awfully rude thing to say when your wife went to the movies and you could have went with her, but instead you go painting. Motherfucker goes to a bar. Ah. I have a notion if your husband could have seen your face when you were telling about that birthday party in 1947, he'd have painted you right smack in the middle of that picture with his arms around you. Ah, sorry, Ursula. Oh, Mr. Leggett of the graphic, Mr. Sullivan, he's helping me look for Frank. My dad can I right. remember full conversations. Up, will you? What the hell? A of garbage. You? No, I'm fine. Get something? Something I hadn't counted on. What? Frank still loves me. Oh. Big help. I think so. If it'll help any, Frank asked me how early the Army Navy store is open. The one that's down on the Embarcadero. No, he's getting smart. He's changed his clothes. What do you say we cover it? Oh, I. Uh... I'm sorry I was so rude a moment ago, but it's always discouraging to hear a wife say that her husband loves it. What do you write? Comic strips? Never more serious in my life. What's the damages? Oh, it's on the house. I hope you find him, Mrs. Johnson. Thanks. Is an art book? No, looking, honey. Ooh. What? Once they're gone. They're gone. What? What is she talking about? Ironically, smartphones made us dumber. No, that was dumb before I had a smartphone. White girl wasted. She white girl wasted. Holy shit. How did it happen? I was walking along and she almost hit me. She must have fell from the oriental roof garden up there. Who is she? She's one of the dancers from the show. Oh, oh, Maybe he it's killed. Frank, Sammy? Oh. oh no, thanks. Hi, Sammy. Let him alone, can't you? I just heard about it. Oh. I'm sorry. I can't understand it, Inspector. Susie was happy. We were doing great. There was no reason for it. Sometimes we don't know what makes people tick, even the ones closest to us. I just can't believe she killed herself. Well, mm. maybe she didn't. Inspector, how well, else? it could have been robbery. She might have surprised somebody in the dressing room. Did you check her stuff, see if anything was missing? No. Well, do it now. Top not back? 
We've been through almost all of these places and we still haven't found a One day front. cleaning laundry service. Man, the wife is so smart, but she's leading this guy right to Frank. I'm late, what did I miss? Um... This woman's husband witnessed a murder. And... We found out that the guy who committed the murder... ...is wandering around with the wife, because the wife is trying to find the husband. Because the husband ran when the police tried investigating him. Mind if I look at this coat? That's a man's coat. Mind if I look at it? Say, darling. That's Frank's coat. Where did you get it? None of your business. But that's my husband's coat. No, it ain't. It's mine. The fella came in here and traded that coat and four dollars for a pea jacket and a cap. When? When I opened up this morning. Where'd he go? How do I know? I just sell stuff. I don't watch people. Shut the door as you go out. Leave it open. Ah! 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 This movie's so good. What the fuck? <laughs> Holy shit. It's so good. It's so good. Have you picked it? Enjoying it? Nice. Actually based, yeah. The comedy's on point, intentional or otherwise. I think it's very intentional. Yell out his name. Well, wouldn't you know? There he is, just like nothing had happened. Huh? Oh. Oh. Frank. I beg pardon? Oh. Oh, I, I'm sorry. Oh. God, it's like people are fucking I NPCs. Many land going sailors in the world, all of them wearing pea jackets and seamen's caps. They all, they all, they all wear the same outfits. They're all generated with the same outfits on, depending on their location spawn. Pete, huh? mm -hmm. I might as well admit it. I can't remember. No thanks. There's not much sun left to find him under. If you think back, he said in his letter, you'll know where to find me. How about the tree? Danny, the maybe tree this time alone I can figure this out. I've got to go home anyway and feed the dog. He's been locked up all day. Well, sure, sure. I could meet you later someplace. How about picking me up at the corner of Montgomery and Union Streets when you're ready? It's not much out of your way. All right. I'll meet you there in an hour. Oh. Uh-oh. Looks like your shadow's finally caught up with you. Can you imagine living before color was invented? Yeah? Seaman's cap. Don't be weird. Are you as bad as I am? What? I beg your pardon. Come on, there's no need for spending two cab fares. We might as well go together. But, well, oh, come on. Well, at least you'll have someone to uh, talk to. Huh? Is she gonna tell her? Does she know? The taxpayer, I thank you. Sailor's cap, you weirdos. This is for Chad doesn't see her Pippa move along. Okay. Hello, Rembrandt. Oh. I'll be with you in a minute. Puppy! Hi. What, you again? Who let you in? Landlord. Do you mind? Oh, no. Make yourself at home. I love having cops move in on me. Where's the letter? Don't pretend you don't know what I'm talking about. I mean, the letter your pal picked up at Hart and Winston's this morning. I want it. He's all knows all, except where Frank is and who the killer is. Why don't you go back to jail or wherever it is you live and leave me alone? Oh, no. The America round's over. This mm. case is going cold on me, and you're the only live thing in it. So from now on, I'm sticking with you. That's just peachy. Oh, I'm bushed. You ought to be. You covered a lot of territory <sighs> today. My men are bushed, too. What to do? Should be more considerate. What to do with you, Juan? You make anything out of this letter? Pretty cryptic. Not yet, but I'm working on it. It sounds like a guy in love. You think so? Yeah. 
I'll be out in the open, under the sun, in a place like the one where I first lost you. That kind of lays it right in your lap. Doesn't it mean anything to you? I wish it did. I'm glad you're not bringing me my medicine. Oh, oh. don't worry. I'll find it. And I'll be right there with you when you do. Where you go, I go. Look at that! Would you insist upon going with me if I walk the dog? I walked him. Anyway, there's oh. a man out front, one in back and one on the roof. Fine. I'm staying right here then. So am I. We just wait till your husband comes to you or you oh, can't nice stand the strain any longer and go to him. Look, Mr. Ferris, maybe you were right in some of the things you said. Today I discovered a lot about Frank I never knew before. In one day, what well, you couldn't find out in four years. I guess I was the one that was mixed up. A lot of it's my fault anyway. I haven't been much of a wife. Well, that's quite an admission from you, Mrs. Johnson. Please, you've got to give me a chance to see Frank alone and give him his medicine. Then if he wants to come in and testify, that's up to him. But it's got to be his choice. I won't try to influence him one way or the other. Whatever he does is all right with me. But you've got to let me see him alone first. I believe you, and I'd like to help you, but I'm a cop. If Frank keeps on running, I'll have no witness to say nothing of a job. Buck, 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 buck. He's hungry. Huh? Couldn't you have fed him, too? I couldn't figure out how to work the can opener. Can I use your phone? The poor dog is starving. You're so mean to Rembrandt. Hello, Paris. Anything come in? Keep it going till we get results. You're gonna die get for trusting the cop? Sure, there. Put him on. Tabasco? Is that a good old bottle of Tabasco like I have sitting on my desk right now? Oh my god! Oh? What the hell? What is she doing? What is she doing to the dog? What is she doing to the dog? Tapatio is the superior hot sauce? What what the fuck is she doing to the dog? What's she doing? I'm sorry, Mim Brand. It's the only thing I can think of. Rembrandt. He was so hungry, and now I won't touch his food. That's funny. When his nose is so hot, maybe I'd better take him to the vet. I'll take him. I like dogs. Oh, thank you. Get your shoes. He's a cute-ass dog. His temperature is normal. In fact, he seems to be in perfect health. But I'm worried about him, Doctor. He won't eat. Maybe he isn't hungry. Perhaps he should stay here for a few days for observation. Uh, May I is take Frank a look at your exercise I? guide? Oh, yes, Inside right the house? Door across the hall. And doctor, see if you can't coax him to eat something. Oh, Rembrandt. Doctor, I wish you'd look at Emily. I'm not the doctor. I'm here for treatment myself. I beg your pardon? Well, your wife thinks you ought to leave the dog for observation. That woman's not my wife. The fuck? She just ran out without him? Frank's in the walls! I'm not sure. Was Where that just her way of escaping the... You knew about Frank's letter. Well, that doesn't surprise me. I knew he'd check that. Danny, I've been thinking. Yeah, he's a cheese from the feds. Why did Frank send it to Hart and Winston? He didn't want it Why not leave it with Sammy Chung, then? Or give it to anybody who knew who'd bring it to me? Why Mavis at the store? You mean you, you think there's a reason something you missed? Yes, something I didn't see. Something I overlooked. Hmm. Driver. Take us to Hart and Winston. Okay. You might be right about the painting. You might be right. Is it just me or do a lot of the buildings look so much more artistic back then? I have no Weary, idea. bitter, cynical. Is this Corey in the house? Yeah. Fresh, 
eager and hopeful. The two Eleanors. Now I remember. One day on the beach at Carmel, just after we were married, Frank huh? made a mermaid out of sand. It was supposed to be me. And a big wave came up and washed it away. And he said, well, I've lost you. And I said, you'll never lose me, Frank. I won't let you. That's what he meant in the letter. It wasn't a quarrel. This means something to you. You know where he is? I'll take you there. Inspector Harris wants to see you. Why? Look, he wants to see you. Where? Later. Mm. Trying to run off without him. Yo, how many people just fit then? What? Oh, I, I guess there's no there's no back door, so she just probably crawled into the back. There was an architectural movement to take off decoration after this era. That's stupid. Decoration is pretty. Foreigner. I'm sorry to have to ask you to do this, Mrs. Johnson. This man was found in an alley behind the gin mill on the Embarcadero. He'd been brutally beaten to death. He wasn't wearing a trench coat, but he was wearing a seaman's cap and jacket. From what I remember of your husband, it could be him. I'm not sure. So I'll have to ask you to make positive identification. Uh-oh. It's not gonna be him. No way. Is him? Did he make a mannequin of the body? Because the cop? Maybe the, her alone. the cop knows? That goes the Freeman case. Two witnesses. Two dead men. She pretended. That's the way it goes sometimes. Was she pretending? She pretended. I don't know anything that I could say would just be words. That wasn't Frank. Oh! For a quick moment, I thought it was, and I felt things I didn't know I could feel. What was I holding no, on for? Don't tell him! Why didn't I learn to understand you? Why don't we give freely of ourselves when we can? Oh my God! If only I had another chance, I thought. Then I saw it wasn't Frank, and I fainted. Congratulations on your performance. But it wasn't an act. I really did faint. Where is he? At the amusement park at the beach. What the fuck? It's a dog. It's a good dog. You were there when it happened. Why can't you talk? That Johnson dame's a smart cookie. Yeah. I wonder where she got the idea of passing that stiff off as her husband. Somebody had to. Pass him off? Sure. Oh. The guy she identified was the second mate off a tanker. Just been paid off. Somebody rolled him for his dough. Why wasn't I told? Mm. The fingerprint report just came. Kick me for a knucklehead. Get down to the taxi stand. Check and find out where they took her. Dog is dead today. Dog probably died, like, many, many years ago. This movie's from 1950. And don't scare the puppet! We're loud! He's such a good dog, though. A cute dog. Hey, Max, watch my cat. We don't want to get a hamburger. Okay, bud. I believe in the 75-year-old dog. Ah! Creepy. I can confirm I was the dog. I want to go. All units in the Bay Area, be on the lookout for one yellow cab, number 323. License number in the 7 column. 49 Frank 762. Left Hall of Justice approximately 6 30 p.m. this day. <laughs> what was Pippa? That was Pippa. That was not me! Missing tools, right Pippa. <gasps> and there he is. He's been waiting for me all day, thinking I wouldn't remember. I almost didn't. I uh, know. What is it? <laughs> I couldn't talk to him there. There's too many people around. I couldn't get the kind of story I want. 
I know where I can meet him, but nobody will bother. What? Oh, look at the fan sculpture. I had an uncle that used to make statues, only he made them out of ice. Small donations for the artist will be appreciated. Here you are. Oh. Thank you. Oh. <laughs> Yeah, that was a good throw. He's Chad. He got a super chat, yeah! That was four bucks? I don't know. Ah! Huh? Why is he leading her off into the dark alley? Without... Things beginning to boil. What? We'll be right down. We're going to the beach. Come on, Rembrandt. What my eyes miss. He's bringing the dough. Smell. Come on. I'll kill her and then him. Oh no! She should realize that this is a very silly plan. What the heck? I don't like this place. Average safety level of, uh, of an amusement park? I used to come here with a girl when I was a kid. More frightening than romantic. That's the way love is when you're young. Life is when you're older. I'll tell Frank where you are. Damn. You sure you want to start over again with your husband? Oh. I'm sure I want to try. I'm not sure what he wants. Supposing he doesn't want to. Then I'll let him go. You'll never know how I feel about him. You think people can turn back and you're going to try. I know better. You're too cynical. It's your profession. It's too late now to change my profession. Okay. Go ahead, send him here. I'll bring him. No. What's the matter with you? Don't you still want the story? I guess I... I gotta have the story, but... My way. You send him back. I want to see him alone first. If you want the money, I talk to him alone. All right, if that's the way you want it, I'll send him. He doesn't want the scoop unless it's his way. He caught feelings, he did. Man. So messed up. Ah, oh, it's thank you for the raid! Hello, how was your dream? Medieval peasantry. We're like right at the end of the movie. We made it just in time for the grand finale. This woman is about to is about to send her husband to talk to the man who's trying to kill him because she doesn't realize. Moment, moment. Yeah, Kirsch's femboy. Yeah. How are we doing? Seven seventy one. Huh? That's better than I do on some Sunday. Thanks for taking care of things. You know, it's the first day I've had off in years. You know what I've been doing all day? Riding back and forth, back and forth between here and Sausalito on my old ferry boat. Look, I can't stick around here anymore. I've got to get out of here. Say, Cap, I hate to ask you, but... but you... Won't take you very far. Here's the keys to my car and the ticket. Huh? Find it over in the parkway. Tank's full. Thanks, Cap. I'll get it back to you. You better. Huh? Wait, the guy, the guy just loaned him his car? This was a mistake. Are you guys getting bullied? Are you guys getting bullied? I'll never see that car ever again, no. Uh, how is this gonna... If the husband already ran off... Hey, pardon, lady. Where's Frank? What happened to him? Who? Frank Johnson. Never heard of him. Huh? What? What? Smart dude. I mean, that was just timing. 
Sorry, Mrs. Johnson, but I had to be careful. Frank waited all day and said he couldn't wait any longer. So I loaned him my car about five minutes ago. Where'd you go? Over to the parking lot at the other end of the midway. Thank you. It's covering for a homie, yeah. I lost a bet with myself. What? Did you want to win? As ordered, delivered. Late as usual. But delivered. What? Huh? Let's get out of the light. Keep an eye out for us, will you, Cat? Huh? I'm a little lost. Well, that's Frank! And I guess... I guess he was betting that she wouldn't... She wouldn't know. But then he came back because he thought maybe hey, you tell me about she will heart. come back. Oh, you know, doctors, they make a big deal of everything. Guess it was a silly thing to do writing that corny note. It sounded like you'd had a couple of drinks. I had. By the time I finished the drinks and the letter, I was a pretty sad character. <laughs> well, I can't hide out here forever. Would you want to? I can get a oh. job in another town. I'm huh? pretty fair window trimmer. Would you get artists too? We've got to pull out of this. Rembrandt's we working for the feds, Ian. Yes. If this excitement hasn't killed you, I'm sure I can't. We'll get out of town when you'll be safe. Can't go very far. I've got seven dollars and seventy-one cents. Borrowed that from the cap. There's a fellow named Leggett, a reporter from the Graphic. He helped me find you. He's promised to give you a thousand dollars for an exclusive. A lot of money for the little I can tell. Well, his paper must think it's worth it, so why look a gift horse in the mouth? But where is he? Over for the roller coaster. Come on, I'll show you. Hey, you, turn around. You know an artist named Frank Johnson? Ah! Who? Frank Johnson. An artist. Did a sketch of you. I saw it. Could be, but I don't remember. Oh, gee, I just work here. Used to be a ferry boat captain, though. I'm getting impatient. Are they all gonna bump into each other at the same time? Yeah, the man's stalling the Fed. Over there, under the roller coaster. Go all the way at the end of the walk and duck in under the scaffold. Okay. Here's a ticket. Keys for the captain's car. It's parked down at the Oh, end of the no. Walk. Well, I'll meet you there. No, I'd better bring it here. You've got to stay out of sight. I can't let anything happen to you now. Oh, no. Oh, no. Nothing can happen to me now. Remember that man shot at you? How did you know? That wasn't in the paper. Ferris told me. Nobody else knows it. <laughs> the guy that fired the shots. How is she not realizing? How is she not realizing? You better go now. I'll be back as soon as I can. Oh no! How is she not realizing? How? The proud car out of the answers just got word for you to call in. Johnson hasn't passed me yet. The dog is gonna sacrifice himself now! Maybe she does? Oh, I haven't got time to talk to him now. That's McDonald and Murray's case. But he says he has some information you wanted. Uh, hold on. Hello, Inspector. Remember he asked me to check all of Susie's things to see if anything was missing? Sammy, I'm busy. I'll, I'll see you tomorrow. I just wanted to tell you that nothing was missing, except that sketch that Frank drew on the back of a menu. Sketch? Who? I don't know. But Susie said it looked like that newspaper man that was in the club this afternoon with Mrs. Johnson. That good notice he was going to give us won't do Susie any good now. He realizes! He realizes! The cop realizes! Oh, God. Where's Frank? He's on his way to meet you, but Ferris is here with the dog. Ferris. But that stiff in the morgue was a plant. He's a pretty sharp fellow. Let's get off the midway. There's a hole. That's what I think of the rain. I love where there's my hands, but no. I'm just Pippa here. Come on, now, never look for us in here. But these things make me sick. Please, smoke. Second ride is half class. Oh. So rude. So rude. What's your problem? Pippa! Yeah, Pippa! All right, Eddie, take it away. Don't stand up in your seat, folks. This is the greatest thrill of your life. 
Is he gonna... Oh my god, is he gonna use the gun? Is he gonna use the gun? Like a drive-by shooting? Is he gonna drive-by shoot? The ride only takes a couple of minutes. Besides, when we get to the top, we can see if Frank's there. Oh, he must be there by now. Aww. It's like we're really on it. Drive my coaster, we're a gangster. I'm in the cinema magic. I think you want to agree? Ah! How's that Dixie cap standing on? Don't ask questions. Not bad filming for the time. Did you know the theme park stream was fun? Oh. Gotta find more like recreations. Oh! Hey, buddy, where do you think you're going? Oh. Huh? What is happening? Why is this roller coaster scene so long? The only movie we have we watched so far that wasn't NTR. Ah. No, the the one with the with the psychiatrist, Doctor Osborne. That didn't have any NTR. Os... 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 Ro, Rosboro? Ro, Ro, Osboy? Osborne? Whatever? Rosborne? You stay on for another ride, I'll go see what's happened to Frank. I want to go with you. No, with Ferris outside, together we'd be too conspicuous. But Danny... Ferris traced you here. If he found you, someone else could follow you too. I can ride half man. Radio go again. Okay, Eddie, take it away. Oh my god. Someone shot at him last time. They tried to kill him once, they'll do it again. Is she gonna witness him? They tried to kill him once, they'll do it again. Nobody knows that except your husband, the killer, and now you. Now you realize! Now you realize, woman! Dee dee dee! Thank you for becoming a big pee pee! Now she realizes! Oh my god! It's over. It's all over. Oh. Oh my god. Bad end unless she jumps. Maybe the, maybe the cops will... Maybe the cops will do something. What's long as coaster? Oh no. Oh no. I don't know where I think I'm big baby. Uh oh. Frank. Frank Johnson. Yeah. Is that you, Mr. Leggett? Be careful, there's a loose plank over here. Oh. I know. Why don't you get it over with? Huh? I don't have to, Frank. What? You got a bad heart. You can't stand tension. You're gonna kill yourself. So long. The visitor's not building. I'm big, big, big. 
gonna think he's gonna have bruises on his neck. He's gonna realize. Oh my god. Oh my god. Don't make it look like a suicide. He's trying. Yeah, that seems like a bad way to go about it. I think I think so. Second ride is half fast, folks. Take advantage of the second ride. It's only half fast. Bullets bullets are loud, it is true. Oh man. Uh oh. Oh man. I bet Frank's gonna have shot him. Frank's gonna have shot Danny. He's gonna he's gonna wrestle the gun out of out of his hand and he's gonna he's gonna have shot him. Cause he took the heart medication that his wife gave him! While they were under the bridge! Yeah? The dock? The pier? Maybe? I had to do it, Mrs. Johnson. Let's leg it down there. Your husband's safe. Oh. Where's Frank? Up oh! There, on the midway. Oh, man. The detective? That wasn't Frank. No, that was... That was Danny... Bo this is such a weird... This is such a weird ending! That was so weird! That was all put together so weird! It was a good ending, but that was weird! What the fuck? Bro. Everything from before the roller coaster, the first hour of the movie was like really well written, uh, like fucking clapbacks and savagery and 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 fun characters, and then it gets past the hour mark and it just turns into schizo amusement park movie. What the hell? I had to wrap it up. I I guess so. I wonder. I wonder if there was like a different. Ending? Planned originally? Maybe they had to- maybe they had to change the ending or something? That was a very- oh, That was a very strange ending. Pacing seems to be an issue for some of these movies, yeah. Yeah, f yeah, the- the- the detective that had the dog shot... Wag it. But how- like... How did he know where they were? Where- where they- why? Like he knew- that Waggett was actually... Danny Boy, because... The sketch that was missing... That got reported... There's a condition they were giving us of the Mori! Uh, thank you, thank you! Um... They traced the taxi, but... How... How did they find him, like... Behind the roller coaster? Like, it just... I don't know, man. I don't know. That was a weird ending. That was a really weird ending. A very good movie. I'd give like the entire movie like an 8... Like an 8.3 out of 10. And then I would give that ending like a 4 out of 10. That was weird. Like it wasn't necessarily bad. It was just really... It was really weird. You know? Okay, I'm gonna raid... Fujikura Uraka! Thank you guys so much for stopping by. I'm gonna try to pass the fuck out. I don't know if I'm going to. But... I fell apart there. Yeah, I did. F you! There was no NTR. She did... She did... Reject the guy. Oh... I guess... I guess if he had not been so... Aggressive about finding him and killing him, he... He probably could have gotten the girl, actually. Like... If he hadn't pushed her to try and, like, remember things and to try and chase him down... Like, if he had encouraged her to just, like, let it go. But he got too... he got too greedy. Alright, thank you guys so much for stopping by! My name's Peppa, I'll see you tomorrow over on YouTube. There's Lars, evocation, she, show, she. 
Hargity, Swargity, Vash Pee Pee, Mecha Deuce, Mohai, So Not Funny, Burning Sap, Hams Addict, Mountain, James Jameson, Jabs Across, X is New, Valorans, The Purple Mimi, um, Mr. High Ground, Van Gogh Burn, Jello Shot, Burning Sap, Whatever, but, but, Archive Bro, Broom Raid, Seven is My Power, Heroes, XYZ, Level 80, or is level 8? Level 8! Uh, Valorant, Frozen, Solaris, Hoppy Hollow, It's Hells, Lupus Everest, Sentient Crab, Frozen Gala, uh, uh Frozen, Frozen Gale, sorry, Pink Weave, Happy Mars, Evocation, Shugatsi, Billy Witch Doctor, Rasto, Yolon, Burning Sap, Jello Shot, Ken Xanon, I'm Fantastically Well, Liquid Chris, Life Plan Drifter, High Cube, Rizum, Thomas Sue, Kingslayer, Ages Lily, Red Riding, Hello, my people, goodbye! Bye, people. Mwah! Get out of here.